the next tool I want to talk about is the direct select tool. <clears throat> the direct select tool is just to the right of the select tool, and it is the white arrow. The white arrow, when I click on that, the direct select tool allows me to select and, and manipulate individual points. Okay, so if I come up here to the top right point and I click on that, you'll notice that the other corners are white squares and this one is a blue square because I have that one selected. And with the direct select tool, I can move that and the other things will stay exactly where they are. Okay, so the direct select tool is another one that is very useful. We'll be using it quite, quite a bit when we're doing the pen tool, which will be our next video. But the direct select tool, again, allows us to select individual points and move those points rather than selecting the entire object, which is the select tool. All right. The next tool I would like to talk about is the zoom tool. When you're working with illustration, you're very often going to be zooming in to, to see details, to work on smaller areas. And the zoom tool is going to be one of your best friends in that way. It's right over here. It's in the bottom right of all these tools. It looks like a magnifying glass. The keyboard shortcut for the zoom tool is the letter Z. So I just tap Z and I am on the zoom tool. Now, there's a couple of ways to use the zoom tool. You notice the zoom tool has a little plus sign in the middle of it. I can come over here and I can just click once, click twice, and I'm zooming in a little bit every time. If I hold down the option or the alt key, that little plus sign turns into a minus sign. And now every time I click, it zooms out once or twice. Now, personally, the way that I like to use the zoom tool is I like to drag a little marquee around what I want to zoom in on. So let's say I want to zoom in on this corner. I can just click and drag, and you see I drag this little rectangle known as a marquee around the area that I want to zoom in on, and that area will, will fill the entire window. Okay, So a really good way to just quickly zoom in onto specific things that you want to work on. Now, another tool that we need to talk about when talking about the zoom tool, because they go hand in hand, is the hand tool. Just to the left of the zoom tool, we've got this little icon that looks like a hand. That's the hand tool. The keyboard shortcut is H, but I'm going to show you an even more useful keyboard shortcut than that in a minute. If I select that, this just allows me to move around what I'm looking at on the artboard. So I'm clicking and dragging, and I'm just able to slide and see what I want to see. But like I said, there is a more useful keyboard shortcut than going to that hand tool permanently. Generally when we go to the hand tool we just want to go to it for a moment because we want to move and then keep working on what we're working on. So let's say that I'm working with the brush tool which we'll talk about in a minute. And I do a line here and I'd like to do a line there and I'd like to do a line there and now I want to continue on. Well rather than going and changing to the hand tool permanently I can just press and hold the space bar and you'll see my icon is turned to a hand. The moment I let go of the space bar it goes back to the brush tool. So pressing and holding the spacebar temporarily changes you to the hand tool. So then you can use it, let go of the spacebar, and then continue working with the tool that you had last selected. Okay. Now, one other great shortcut that both the zoom tool and the hand tool offer to us is a quick zoom out. Okay. They have different ways that they work, but both of them are done by double clicking on the icon over here in the toolbar. If I double click on the zoom tool, you'll see that it zooms out to 100% magnification. Now I can see the magnification in the lower left right here, it says 100%. In fact, I could click on that and go to a specific one if I wanted to, rather than using the zoom tool. So clicking and hold, or sorry, double clicking the magnification tool, the zoom tool, will zoom us out to 100% magnification. Clicking and holding the hand, or sorry, double clicking the hand tool will zoom us out so that our artboard fills the window. Okay, so this is actually 86%, but it makes it so I can see my entire artboard filling the window. So a couple of quick ways to, to, to move around using both the hand tool and the zoom tool. All right, so let's look next at the shape tools. First of all, I'm going to delete this, these things that I've drawn so far, and, and this is a good time to learn how you delete an object in Illustrator. If I select something and then I press delete on my keyboard, 
it deletes it, makes it go away. Now, if I want to delete more than one object at a time, I can click kind of away with them and uh, with the selection tool and drag a marquee across what I want to select. I've now selected all those lines, press delete on my keyboard, and I've deleted them.